Hi everyone, Nikki here, Smurfy161. Just making sure I'm filming, yep. Um, so I've got one of the, my little boxes again. And I want to decorate this cover for the Enchanted Dreams journal that I'm going to be working on soon. So I've taken off the paper as much as I can and the tape. So for the outside, I'm going to put scrappy paper on because I want some texture to it. And then I'm going to put gesso on top um so yeah and then for the inside i'm just going to put let's get rid of that um just some of the pattern paper i'm using some scrapbook paper and make pockets so let's get cracking because another reason i want to do um like a textured journal as you can see my paper scrap drawer is rather full i'm also going to do some master boards as well because i thought if i'm gluing and stuff i might as well just um get some stuff in but yeah i'm going to put gesso over the top so i'm not worried um about having the paper neat um when i come to do the master boards i'm going to have it more a bit more structured if that sort of makes sense so i hope everybody's doing well i'm i'm not too bad a little bit run down um yeah i'm not too bad just waiting on some oh i think i'll go across because then when I come to fold it, yeah, that'd be better. Um, so I'm just waiting on some results to come back. So I was at the um, doctor's this week having some bloods done. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting on that to see what's going on there. So, um, and then anything that hangs over, I'll trim off when it's dry. So, yeah, let's get some scraps going I think I'll put, oh no, because if I'm going to cross, it's only just putting paper down, but why do we think about it so much? It's like, I notice I'm not the only one when they're doing scrappy things like this. It's like, you sort of think about it too much. And if I'm going to be covering it up with gesso, because I'm going to colour the gesso, I really don't need to um, worry too much about what's going on with it um yeah sorry my throat's a bit croaky um allergies are really great at the moment with the summer weather but yeah if you can hear the fan going apologies it is we're actually having a bit of a heat heat wave in the uk which makes a bit of change um and all being well my brother is going to be coming over in august so that'd be nice because i haven't seen him for oh, four years um so it'd be really nice just to catch up and see him and he'll be fed up with mum and i because we'll be wanting to give him hugs <laughs> so he'd be like oh get off i don't want any more hugs um i mean we're a tactile family but you know what men are like they don't want to be um hugged all the time i mean some men might do but yeah right so i want to try and get the, this paper down it's amazing how scraps grow i know we all say it but i suppose because if you're making things and using scraps you're bound to have bits left over so i'm going to put that across there right yeah I save so many weird little bits and pieces. But you never know when you're going to need it. And like if you're doing clusters and stuff. So please say I'm not the only one that's um, a scrap, paper scrap holder. Well, I know I'm not because I watch um, Gail Oscanelli and she certainly, um, she certainly um, uses her paper as well. So I enjoy watching her pam at the paper outpost so let's get this covered i don't like i said little bits of brown i don't mind showing but i um want to use as much as i can um so i'm just trying to think i'm still working on started on my scrappy granny blankie so i'll be doing some of that later on um, 
I shouldn't, I'm just meant to be grabbing and gluing, aren't I? And I can't seem to get that in my head. <laughs> just grabbing and glue. <laughs> right. Oh, itchy eye. I hate allergies. They're a pain in the, what's it? Um, so I'm just trying to think of anything else. Now I've had my blood test. My dad's doing some car stuff Sunday, so I don't know if I'm going to see my mum um, Saturday or Sunday yet. Right, so I'll get some more bits going right across here. So that bends, yep, yeah, okay, so that's bending all right at the moment. Because that's something I normally forget. It's like, oh, I can't bend this spine now because I haven't glued it right. So I thought I'd pay more and pay more attention this time so i put that right across there um yeah that's still okay stick down your what's it um and then if we put that across there okay mumbling to myself now Charlie's all right. He's not too bad. He's had his walks this week. So, yeah, when it wasn't too hot for him, which is some, something good. Right, okay. So we've got that bit covered there. What else have we got to? Should we put that across there? Yeah, let's do that. Oops. So I don't know if you were like watching people glue, but I'm because I don't do my cards now, I'm just trying to think of different things, but I don't want to be too repetitive. Right, so, oh, and then I need a bit up there to cover that bit of, that bit of spine up there. Um, and I um, brought some digi kits today for a future journal and some other things I want to work on. So I've got a few ideas I work what I work on. It's just getting my energy. Let's just check that. Yeah. Oh no. Don't stick that down, you little monkey. Yeah. Didn't say you could come up, did I? Um. Yeah. Okay. So that, oh, it's still sticking up. What's it? Get down. Um. Yeah. So I've got some ideas of what I work on and stuff. Why aren't you sticking? Don't want to stick. You will now. <laughs> Make sure you do. <laughs> um, yeah, so I've got a few little cross um not crochet, little projects I want to work on and stuff. Um yes, and yeah, there yeah, I want to work on a bee journal because I um I've got a paper pad and like I said, I brought some digis today. So I want to make a bee journal. I want to make some no themed journals as well. Because I know not everybody wants themed things. You want to do your own thing. So I want to get some of them going. Oh, and also I've got 15% off everything in my Etsy shop at the moment. So if there's anything there you've been wanting for a while check that out so yeah it's for the whole of july and i now ship to the uk and the states if you're anywhere else and there's anything you like then just send me a message and we can sort something out because i know Postage and everything's a pain for everyone at the moment. So, um, yeah, check that out if you want. The link's in the mall box to my Etsy shop. Oh, and I've also got my link to my eBay as well if there was sort of anything non-crafty or after. I can't remember what's on there at the moment. Just trying to keep on top of getting rid of stuff from like moving and I'm just trying not to hoard too many things at the moment so I think I'll just put that there and I've got a little gap 
there, let's use that. Yeah, I like this hot weather, but my body doesn't. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really looking forward to seeing my brother after four years. It'd be just so nice just to catch up. Um, we've already planned to go for a nice meal somewhere because we normally try and have at least one really, not where we dress up super smart, but you're not in jeans sort of thing. So that would be really good just to catch up with him. Um, and sometimes he pays, so that's a good bonus. <laughs> no, that sounds really bad, but you know what I mean. I hope you do. Um, yeah, so that's going on. What else? Got a car show to go to in August. I mean, I'm not doing the car show. There's other stands and things um, there, like people selling handmade items and stuff. So that would be nice to go to. It's just nice getting out of the house, really. Um, I can't think of much else. Oh, I've I've just started watching um, Supernatural. I know I'm really behind everybody with things like that, but yeah, I'm starting. Just started to watch that. So um, yeah, I watch that when I do my crochet. I'm enjoying that. Just trying to think of anything else I've really watched. Can't think of a lot. Well, I've been watching some true story films. Um, but I've given myself a bit of a break from that at the moment because some of the stories don't help my anxiety and things like that, like children getting abducted and things. So I've given myself a bit of a break from that. Oh, and I started to watch um, the film Lost Boys just because I needed, wanted something to watch for a little bit before I went to bed. And I was like, I thought it was a good film when I was younger. And now it's like, yeah, that's um, it's not that great. <laughs> it's, I mean, it's a fine film, but, you know, it's not top of my list of things to re-watch. Right. So we are getting this filled up and getting some scraps gone, but not. Not as many as I wanted. It's amazing, really. Right. Oh, I've got a big blob. I don't want that. Let's put that there. Um, oh, I've got, no, I think I'm going to keep that for something else. Yeah, see, I'm even hoarding bits of paper now. It's like, no, I don't want to use that yet. That's just white card. That doesn't belong in there. Oh, no, it's not. I had two bits of paper together, silly me. Yeah, I think a nice cool drink. Sit in front of the fan and do some crochet, I think. Once I've done this video is my agenda. I'm sure there was a lid somewhere, but I've, oh, there it is. There. Sorry about that clang. Right, that's going, oh no, let's just put that there. And then we've got that tiny little bit there to cover up. And then I'm going to get the gesso sorted. Oh, come here. Um, so I only need a tiny little bit. I'll just use some of this. That'll do. I know you're hot, aren't you, darling? Poor little boy. Right. I'm just going to move this to one side. In fact, I'll just move that there. And let's get some gesso. And... Oops. Should have had this ready to hand, but I didn't. And then I want to colour the gesso. So, I want a greeny sort of pixie powder. Oh, that should be right. Right. Oops. Uh, let's just move that over there, up there, and we need a brush. So let's just grab a brush. Right, so I could have put glue over the top of this, but I'm not worrying too much. Let's just put some of that in. I know, darling, but Mummy's got stuff to do. I'll give you a cuddle in a minute. It's a bit hot for cuddles. 
right let's let's make sure i'm still in frame yes and let's use this what color is it teal wash it's called because i want a sort of minty color and when you add the pixie powder to the gesso it goes like tr a chalky sort of paint which i think is rather nice oh that's way too pale i need more more pixie powder i should have shaken it up before let's give that a shake now make sure the lid's on because i did this once and i just ended up with um pixie powder everywhere Let's just see what colour we're getting mixed now. I want it quite sort of. No, that's still a bit too pale for what I want. You know what will happen? I won't have enough paint and then I'll have to mix more and it won't look the same, but never mind. Oh, great. I'll just put that on me. Let's just take that off my hand. Because pixie powder stains. <laughs> I had it on me for ages one day. It's just like, will you wash off? And it took ages. Oh well. But it's like I'm going to have bluey fingers for a little while. Never mind. All right, let's put that over there. A lid blot. Where's my little cloth? No, I don't think it has. It just doesn't want to. Come on, that's it. Right, let's see what colour we're going to get now. Oh, it's still quite light. Hmm. That's not bad, but I might just put a bit more in. What I'm going to do is, I know it's not the best idea, but I think, oops, okay, got some in there now, <laughs> probably way too much, but, ah, oh, well, it's just nice just to relax and play for a bit, right, what oh yeah, I prefer that colour a lot more now, yeah, that's more what I was looking for. I like to mix it into the gesso because it means I don't have to do gesso and then a uh, paint. It's all done in one go. I know I'll probably need a couple of coats of this. So it might look a different colour once I come to finishing it. Yeah, if you know me, you know I like these sort of colours. I thought I just wanted to do something different because normally I just stick paper down or I paint it and then I do like a stencil or something. And I thought, no, I just want to do something a bit different this time. So I hope you're all going to have a nice weekend and get nice weather. this on here and some of the paper's got texture on like what I'm going on to actually that's covering fairly well in some places so that's not bad but I will definitely do at least another coat so I don't know if I'm going to get the master boards done I don't know how long I've been filming for might do the master boards in another video I think not sure. Depends. Right. I should have put some paper down underneath this, but as it's my glass mat, it just cleans off fairly well. Right. So we're not doing too bad here. Probably not the most interesting video for you to watch, but some of you have asked to see me making my journals and more of it from scratch. It's 
some bits look like they're drying already. I don't fancy getting my heat gun out. I feel too hot to have that on. So we've got one coat done. I'll do the other coats um, off camera and then when it comes to doing more to this journal, I'll do it as a separate thing. Right. Yeah, definitely going to need another coat. But, um, right, let's just put this out the way and I will be back with doing the masterboards. Right, let's put that over there. Just going to move all this out the way. I don't want to waste that paint, so I'll do something with that. Right, let's give this a clean. And I'll be back in a bit. Right, so I've tidied my desk up and I've got some of these um, book pages here that were given to me. And I thought I'm not going to use them in a journal. So I thought I'll just collage over them. They can either be pockets or tags. Um, but I thought I'd just make the video a bit longer. And like I said, I want to make them a bit more um, structured. So I want to try and have like similar colours together. So that's like orangey. Mm, I don't think I've got much orangey stuff. Uh, peaches and orange go together. Got some painted paper. That's, yeah, I like those sort of colours together. I want to try and be more coordinated, I think's the word. Um... No, that's not going to go. That would go for this one. Okay, let's see how we do. Let's get this glued down. I'm just really trying not to spend. I know I said I brought some digi kits, but has there an actual project I don't feel too bad but yeah I'm really trying hard not to spend so let's put that down there I might sew around these off camera I'm not too sure yet I haven't used my sewing machine much lately and I'm not going to keep that little piece I know some of you would but I'm not <laughs> um, that can go there I got this idea from watching a couple of people, Pam and Gail, they were gluing on to um, book papers. Normally I do like cardstock or something. Uh, um, this time I um, thought I'll use these book papers. And then, you know, I can trim it down to a pocket or a tag and add to it later. So I know you've just seen me glue a lot today, so let's use this little bit here. And I really like that flower, so we'll use that as well. So I've gone peachy and orangey here, haven't I? That's fine. Get these muscles going with the... Let's oh, so just put that across there. I like that. Right, let's have a bit of this orange. I just want a small bit of that. Yeah, I'm trying to use stuff up and yet I'm putting bits back in there. Not quite what I planned. I want to use a whole load, but I don't think I've made a dent, dent at all in that. And that little what's it can go there. And um, mm, no, I think I'll go. Let's put that there, I think. Oh sorry, he's heard something. 
I don't know what he's heard, but, you know, somebody's made a sound and he's got to tell me all about it. It's all right, Charlie. Right, so let's use some of this. Sorry if I moved that out of frame, but so we've got that. No, that's too much of that. That's better. That can go there. Put that back in there. I might find something else that's a bit more orangey or pinky. Oh, we've got, oh, I like that. Let's use some of this. Okay. Mm. So I'll let this have a good dry. So we've got that there. Oh, I didn't tear that very well. I'm not happy about that. Let's get that a bit straighter. Um, okay, so that can go there. And then we need a little something to go there. Oops. Um, okay, and then let's find a little something... No, I don't want green. I've got some more of this painted paper. Yes, but use a little bit of that. Okay. Oh, I still didn't do a good job. I want more straighter edges. Oh, that. Yeah, that's perfect. That's perfect. Oh, I don't want these big clumps. Look. And let's just put that there. So we've got a bit of a pinky one going on. Let's right, and what we're going to do colour-wise for this, should we do some green? I've got some greens. I have some greeny colours. Not that I do a lot with green, but I've got some greeny Let's have some green and some purple. Let's do that. Green and purple always sort of go. Right. I've got anything else a bit more greeny. Oh, we've got some. No, I think I'll save that for something else. Got some of that. Okay, right. Let's get this done. I'm sure you're sick of watching me glue stuff. But then sometimes I think it's therapeutic, you know, if you've got a video in the background or something or you're doing something crafty. I sometimes think it just gives you a bit of company, doesn't it? Well, that's what I think anyway. here <laughs> stuff everywhere right. so i'm certainly laying the glue down right you can go there give that a good old rub let's have some of this and i used to when i did these sort of things just i would just you know tear it and now i'm when i'm watching like i said other people it's like Actually, I prefer how theirs look, looks, being more um, having the neater edges. I know sometimes it's nice just to have rough stuff, but it's nice just to have different ideas and things. I think I'm just going to put that across there. And we've got some of this. I apologise if I keep going quiet. I'm going to put that there. Um, I've got some of this spotty one. I know my lines aren't totally straight because I just can't do totally straight things. But if it looks a bit more straight, I'm sure it looks better. Uh, oh, now let's have that edge there and then I'm not having to 
hopefully cut anything off. Hmm, I feel like I need a bit more green there. Right. I've just got one more to do after this and I think I will leave you all in peace because I really need a drink. Let's do, uh, let's break that in half and then let's see if I can do a thinnish bit of this. If my hands will play ball, yeah. Oh, don't stick to that already. Thank you. I love it when um, I see um, people use like digi kits, you know, with the images and stuff. That's something I wouldn't mind trying somewhere. Right, have I got anything more green? Oh, yeah, I've got this plain bit of green. I don't know what I'm going to do for the next sort of colours. I haven't thought about that. Let's see if I've got some yellowy stuff as I'm still on what I call more summery makes. Um, should we just put that bit across there? Yeah, let's just do that. And that's at least a bit of paper gone because this has been sitting in my stash for a while. Right. Um, I think I'm going to put a bit more of this in, I think. So let's just do that. Um, no, I think I'm going to put that up there. Big decision, you know, where should the paper go? Sometimes it just tells you, and other times it's like, no, I don't want to tell you where I want to go. You work it out where you put me. Um... I think I want some more of this. I don't want a great big bit. Right. Yeah, let's whack that glue on. No way am I having you budge, you little monkey. Right, and then we just need a little something there. Right, let's have a... Yeah, oh! Almost perfect, but that I do. I'm not going to worry about a little bit of right bit of the paper underneath showing. Right. Okay, so we've got that one done. So, like I said, I think I might go a bit yellowy or bluey. What? Oh, I could use some of that. I'm liking that. Would that go with it? Well, that's not bad. No. Um, yep, okay. And yeah, okay, I'm liking that. Um, what else? No. Nope. Nope. Oh, and I'll use some of that. Okay. Right, so I've got a bit of a like botanical theme going on there, kind of. So let's use let's use this bit here. Can't remember where I got these from. So they've been in my stash quite a while now. So I'm not sure where they have come from. Checking stuff on the floor now. And I just want to say thank you, as always, for the kind comments I've had. And for any new subscribers, thank, welcome to you and thank you. For your support, it's very much appreciated. And also, when I get input for ideas and things, I also want to say thank you for that. Um, yeah, it's really, really nice. I think I just want this 
planty bit. <laughs> don't know the technical term for it, but I want that planty bit. That's my technical term, planty bit. <laughs> Not very good with plants. I know the basics like roses, carnations and sunflowers and poppies but yeah i'm not overly um great with plants and keeping them alive is not a strong point of mine either so um and i think i'll put that yep that will go there quite well i think so um i'll do something with these um master boards things another time on camera because I want them to dry really well overnight so um I will be doing that another time because I also want to make some pockets and stuff stuff I like that word stuff I want to sort of have a good stockpile of um things for my journals I'm really trying to keep on top of having my um, pockets and things like that ready at hand apart from when it's a themed one sometimes I do need to make stuff actually for it but when I'm doing a no themed one it'd be quite nice just to be able to go all oh, right there's a there's a tuck spot or something like that you know it's just a bit more should I put that there yeah, let's do that. Um, just a bit more on top of my supplies. That's what I want to try and be on top of. So I think I'll pop that. Oh, no, I don't want to cover that up too much. Oh, well, I didn't plan that too well. Never mind. Right, so now I just want a little something to go there. Um, should I put that? Or shall I put it there? No, I think I prefer it when I had it first. I think. Or should we have that? Mm, I think I'm going to go for the more colourful side of it. I think I'm going to put that there. Oh, and then we've got this. Oh, I like that. Let's do that. Oops. Got this little flower. Here, which I think I'm going to pop there and then we've got that one should I do that? yeah let's do that with those bits right I'm going to put that there and that purpley one there yeah liking that and then we need something to go there Mm. I don't want those bits. What have we got that we could use here? I think I'll use that. Let's just use part of that leaf. So that can go there. Okay. And then, um, where is it? I've lost what I had now. I'm going to use a very tiny little bit of this like woody effect I think right okay I think I've got it sorted in my head actually I might put that there just yeah I like that there I'm going to put that there change of plan but I'm allowed let's cover that up and then let's find a little something to go there yep I'm liking that that's that's better than what I first had in my head right oh that's not stick down your little monkey right so that is me done for this video I hope you enjoyed and I will see you all soon with something else take care everyone bye